how to install BOSS Load Order Organizer for both Oblivion and for Skyrim. Now I will go ahead and tell you that BOSS works a whole lot better with Oblivion than it does for Skyrim, and in my opinion it's the best one for Oblivion, however if you are modding Skyrim I would recommend that you use Loot. I will have it linked in the description and soon have a tutorial on it, but let's get to this tutorial for BOSS. Now the first thing you want to do is go onto the BOSS page, which I have in the description, and go ahead and use the GitHub version. Both of them are basically the same thing, but I'll just use the GitHub version so I'm more used to it. And then go on to the installer, which is you just easier than the rest of them. They're a bit more manual, and I don't really know about them, but yeah, just go for the installer because it's the easiest one to do. If you've done that, go to your downloads folder, and then extract the archive that it gives you. It could be 7 it could be RAR, it doesn't really matter. Just go ahead and extract it and get this folder here, and then click on and open up the installer. If you do that, select your language, hit next, and here you'll be able to pick where you want it to be installed to. I want it to be into a different place than it ever default to, so I'll just go ahead and do that. And then you'll get to name whatever you want to name it. Just just go for, just name it boss, because that's the, for simplicity's sake, just name it that. And then hit next. Afterwards, you can open up it, and you can also open up the README for it. I'm going to do both, and just so I can show you them. And when you open up Boss, you'll need to either hit zero or one, and, and hit enter, in order to, in order to run it. I'm going to do it for Oblivion, so I'll hit zero. And help here, I'll show you if there's any errors or what all else happened after it did your load order. Now to go to, to get to this again, just go to the folder that you created. It should just say Boss, and then find this file here, and send that to your desktop. If you click on it or click on the shortcut you sent to desktop, this will just run boss again. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And you'll need to make sure that every time you install a mod before you play the game or any number of mods, you need to make sure you run that. That way your load order runs perfectly. 